Have you heard the most current truth? Google Analytics 4 and Shopify with Alibar. So we have big news for you. As of January 19th, Alivar has made changes to their pricing and it has made it more of something anybody, even a Shopify store that's starting right today can take advantage of. Basically, Elevar has introduced what we call tier pricing. Basically, based on the number of orders you have, you will pay accordingly on Elevar. And stores that have less than 100 orders a month basically can use Elevar for free now. We, MeasureMarketing.io, and a lot of the measurement community find this to be a huge, huge win because it will give you better trends and patterns and get you going with your measurement to measure your results and how questions so quickly. Now, if you want to know all the different ways to set up Shopify and GA4, we got you covered. We recorded a workshop a while ago, which walked you through other ways you could connect GA4 to Shopify. During this workshop, we recommended Elevar, and we're coming to you again recommending Elevar and showing you some of the wins they rolled out on January 19th. So I'm actually going to hop into my Elevar instance to show you the setup and then hop into the store and actually show you some live orders and how quickly they move through. So I'm just going to have a split screen here because I want to actually show you the real time tracking as I move through my store. So the first thing you'll need to do is if you're already using the Elevar old data layer plan, which was their $50 plan, um, you most likely have that set up. What you do there is uh, first you set up your GTM container. Where do you get this number from? You may be wondering. Well, you're going to head into your Google Tag Manager container. You're going to click on this number here. You're going to look in this tag for this number. You're going to select it and you're going to copy it and you're going to head back over into Elevar and you're going to paste it right in here. Then you're going to go through consent. If you have any uh, consent on your store, your client store, I recommend if you're doing this for a client to sit down and ask them, look at consent and, and understand the consent you have in the store. Then you need to prepare your store. You need to remove any of the GTM scripts in your store. The Chrome extension I love for doing this is a Chrome extension called Shopify theme file search by Easify. Basically, you're going to come back here. You're going to go to online store. You're going to go to themes. You're going to click on these three dots and you're going to go to edit code. When you're in there and you've installed the Chrome extension, you will see this nice little search bar here. You're going to type in the words GTM dash and you're going to hit search and give that like a moment or two. It's going to highlight the files that have GTM in it. For me right now, because I have an Elevar installed, it's showing me it's installed in the Elevar files, which is totally fine. You don't want it in any of the other files, such as the theme.liquid. Finally, you're going to configure checkout. So how are you going to do that? You're going to copy this code here, and it's actually going to walk you through exactly where to put it. You're going to open up checkout settings, and you're going to put it under the order status. Let's go do that in my store. So you're going to come here. Let's exit out of the code, and you're going to click on settings. And when you click on settings, you're going to come down this menu, and you're going to go to checkout. When you come down checkout, make sure, make sure, make sure you're doing the order status additional scripts, and you're going to paste that script here. Okay. Then you're going to head on over and you're going to install on your store. I am not going to install because I've already installed, but you will install if you haven't already. Now, with Elevar's new tier pricing, what they also rolled out was what they call Elevar server side with all pricing tiers. So even the free tier gives you Elevar server side. Now, I know it's a lot to understand server side, so we're not going to get into the nitty and gritty of it, but just know this with server side, basically, you get a webhook directly into your Shopify store. So any orders you place through your store, even if they are not through the inner the web interface of it, like say you place it in the back of the store and the order creation page, they will show up. Returns will show up, all that stuff would show up, which is huge when it comes to your trends and patterns. So let's let's go through a bit of that setup. So you're first going to set up a data layer listener. You're going to click on you're going to end up going through the setup. I clicked on view to show you what the setup is. But the first thing you're going to do is you're going to copy this code and you're going to paste it at the end of your checkout order status additional script. So I've pasted it right here, as you can see. Once you've done both, you're going to hit save. And then you're going to install the data layer listener on your store. Next, you're going to come in here and you are going to install the Shopify notification. So this is great as this will help you with the things where people like create orders in the back without going through the web interface, say your client creates orders um, and all that fun stuff. Now I will note that there is different setup here based on if you're a plus store or a non plus store. So depending on your client, you may want to actually take a look at their server side documentation. Finally, once you've completed these different um, steps, you're going to want to configure your GA4. 
So you're going to want to come in here and you can narrow down your events if you want. I highly recommend keeping this as all events. Again, if you need consent or you are questioning consent, I recommend you speak to your client. You keep your transaction identifier as your order number. I recommend keeping your product identifier as your product SKU. Work with your client if they want to block any transactions. At this time, I don't, but if you want to block transactions, I recommend you watch the video and go through this and just take a look at understanding the block transactions. And if you are doing this for a client, maybe sit down with them and say, hey, do you want certain transactions not showing up in GA4? Subscription. So if your client is a subscription client, you're going to want to take a minute to kind of watch this video and look at the setup guide for subscriptions. I'm not going to go in details on that here, but over here you can go through and determine if you want the subscriptions to show up and how you want them to show up in GA4. And finally, the last piece is you're going to configure GA4. So let's show you how to do that. I'm going to show you a split screen for that. So on this screen, I have the Elevar GA4, right? On this screen, I'm going to have GA4 and I'm going to head over to admin. And then I'm going to go into data streams and then I'm going to go into my Shopify data stream and I'm going to copy my measurement ID and I'm going to paste it in this first box. As you can see, it matches. Now it's going to ask you for a GA4 secret. You need to do this for server side tracking. So what you're going to do is in this exact same place in GA4, you're going to come here and go to measurement protocol API secrets. Here you're going to create a new secret. And once you've created it, you will have a secret number here. You need to make this just a bit bigger, but then you can copy this. And you can come into here and paste it right here and hit save. The last step you're going to do is download your pre-built container. I love this from Elevar. This was such a huge time save. It's basically what you're going to do is you're going to hit download here. What's it going to do is it's going to download the container you need in GTM. Let me show you exactly how to use that. So you're going to come into Google Tag Manager and you're going to go to Workshop Amin. And you're going to go import a container. I'm not going to fully import the container, but I'll show you exact steps. So first you're going to choose your container. You're going to come in here and choose your container and go open. Now, what I recommend is creating a new workspace. Whenever you do this, I like to call this something like identifies me, and then I put in Elevar. So if anybody was to catch the worksheet, they know it's me and they know I'm working on Elevar. Now, I like to merge, not overwrite. And you can overwrite any conflicting text, but you can see if there's any conflicting right here. As I can see, there's nothing conflicting. You hit confirm and it will the container in there. Now, as you can notice, I already have mine. I have my Elevar. I just created this, but this I created two days ago when I was setting things up. And here we go. All my tags and triggers are configured. So I have my add to cart. As you can see, all done. There's like literally no work and it, your, your measurement set up. So what we're now going to do is we're actually going to fire up and we're going to watch what happens in real time tracking when I place an order. So I'm going to Make these bigger and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to hit preview. So as I move through my store, like I view a product, what I'm looking for is to see if my events are firing in GTM. But the big win you want to watch for is as you move through checkout, let's see. Here's cart, right? We're going to just enter some information here. We're going to go continue. I'm going to enter a discount code. Let's see here. We got the view cart. Now our goal is to purchase. Now here's where LSR server side really, really, really is advanced. So we're going to complete the order and you're going to want to watch this side of my screen as the last order I placed was 1017. So this should be 1018. Here we go. So 1018 was placed and watch what happens up here. And it is sending it. It's sending it up. 1018 heads over to GA4. And if I head into GA4, and if I take a look at our real-time reports, there we go. Make this a little bit bigger. Here we are, here we are, here we are. I've been doing a few purchases, as you can imagine. I did two before this call, and I have one more there now. 
See, 1018. Perfect. Okay, so we see ourselves showing up. The other win with having server-side tracking is, as you can see, this was order 1018. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to head back into my Shopify store, and I'm going to head over to orders. So 1018 was the last order I placed. I'm actually going to create an order back here, just a test order for the fun of it, just to show you the big win with server-side tracking. So here we are. We're going to let these people pay later. Give them some grace. There we go. The neat thing with server-side tracking is basically there's a webhook that Elevar has with your Shopify store. So the minute I create an order here, it's going to show up here. It's actually going to tell you the source is a draft order or a web order, and it's going to send it off to GA4, and it will show up in GA4. Let's refresh GA4. So now we have four. Is that a second? And then I have a transaction ID. And there we go. So I can easily see that I had orders that were placed through the web versus orders that were placed through the back end of Shopify. Now, if you're having any questions on GA4, on Google Tag Manager, because I understand to set up Elevar, you do need a basic understanding or a little bit of understanding of GA4 or GTM, we have you covered in the Academy. So if you're not Academy member, I recommend you click the link below and take a look. In the Academy, we have Win Google Analytics Basics. We walk you through the ins and outs of Google Analytics. Uh, sorry, Win Google Analytics 4 Basics. We walk you through the ins and outs of Google Analytics 4, and we walk you through exactly what you need to know to get started. We also have Win Google Tag Manager that was just updated this past month, which will walk you through all the ins and outs of Tag Manager. Trust me, you do this course, you'll be on your way to flying through Tag Manager. And then when it comes to wanting to visualize that data for yourself or your, your client, we have dashboarding such as Win Looker Studio Basics and Win Looker Studio Prime Basics. And hey, if you want to jump to the next level, you can always do Win BigQuery Basics, which will get your data from BigQuery and definitely something you want to move to as your store moves through advanced. As you move through any of this, we can support you through Ask Instructor, where you can ask all your questions and we will send you videos back walking you through the steps and unblocking you.